This is the type of narrative that might seem unbelievable, a tale encompassing heartbreak, loss, the forging of new bonds, and the discovery of a new family. It's a story of healing, featuring step-parents doing what's right. Ultimately, it revolves around love. However, what catches most people off guard is that this story stars a cat. The setting is Seneca, South Carolina, in a mobile home community where everyone knew their neighbors and had their moments to shine. Yet, some individuals naturally became more popular due to their vibrant personalities. This is precisely what happened and the community met Miss Kitty. Miss Kitty, a large, fuzzy cat, left an indelible mark wherever she ventured within the mobile home community. Universally welcomed and loved by all living creatures, she fearlessly roamed, asserting herself when needed. She was the undisputed queen, behaving as though everyone should already be aware of it. Owned by local residents Missy and Ryan Grant, Miss Kitty shared the neighborhood with a variety of pets belonging to other residents. One example was their grandson's dog, Smoochie. Like their human counterparts, these animals possessed distinct personalities. Smoochie, a laid-back dog, was content to relax and quietly enjoy life inside the trailer. In contrast, Miss Kitty, an outdoor cat, resisted confinement. The Grants understood that she needed the freedom to roam regularly. They would eagerly swing open their doors, allowing Miss Kitty to freely explore the neighborhood. Miss Kitty, revered and cherished, experienced a joyous period when she became pregnant, giving birth to a delightful litter of kittens. However, the atmosphere turned somber when, for reasons unknown, the newborn kittens faced a tragic fate. Despite the absence of neglect or mistreatment, the fragile little felines succumbed to their delicate health, leaving a void in Miss Kitty's life. Adding to the sorrow, another pregnancy occurred in the Grant family, but this time it was Smoochie, the dog, expecting puppies. Observing the arrival of the new canine family members, Missy noticed a hint of jealousy in Miss Kitty. The cat seemed to gaze at the dog and her offspring, questioning why the blessings had favored the canine, leaving her with none. Amidst this emotional backdrop, a peculiar incident unfolded, prompting neighbors to alert Missy. Underneath their mobile home, a newfound determination had taken hold of Miss Kitty. Karen, a neighbor, was the first to notice the change. Once a melancholy figure, Miss Kitty now exhibited her spirited self, brimming with energy. She raced across the field to a neighbor's mobile home, but this time, she wasn't alone. Gripping a small creature by the nape of its neck, she had unearthed a cozy nook beneath another neighbor's floorboards. There, she had fashioned a miniature home for herself and the tiny beings in her care. Intrigued by Miss Kitty's unusual behavior, the neighbors urged Missy to come witness the discovery. The concerned neighbor promptly visited the Grant's mobile home to inform Missy about the peculiar sight she had witnessed. As expected, Missy was just as perplexed as anyone else. It didn't take long for her to witness the curious behavior herself, Miss Kitty darting away with a small object in her mouth. On closer inspection, Missy realized that the small creature was, in fact, one of Smoochie's puppies. Miss Kitty repeated this process, taking one puppy after another from Smoochie's litter. Alarmed, Missy hurriedly informed her husband, Ryan, about the unusual scene unfolding at the neighbor's residence. Together, they investigated underneath the floorboards and were astonished by what they found. Miss Kitty had seemingly taken every single one of Smoochie's puppies. The perplexing question lingered, why was Miss Kitty catnapping these young ones from their mother? Karen, another neighbor, voiced her concerns, suspecting a sinister motive behind Miss Kitty's actions. She couldn't fathom that the cat, mourning the loss of her own litter, would resort to stealing Smoochie's puppies for her own happiness. However, Missy clarified to her neighbor that the actual reason was not as sinister as it may seem, though still unthinkable. Missy explained that she wasn't entirely surprised. In the vast world of animals, not every member is inclined to be a parent. Sometimes, things don't work out due to various factors such as health, natural selection, or other considerations. In this case, it turned out that Smoochie, the dog, lacked the maternal inclination for her puppies. The familial connection wasn't there, 
and despite the pups needing care and protection, Smoochie wasn't the right fit for the job. Neglected by their mother, the puppies required someone else to look after them. The newborn dogs found themselves left to fend for themselves, devoid of the love they needed from their canine mother. One family had already experienced heartbreak with the loss of their children, and now another family was facing emotional turmoil due to the mother's disinterest. However, Miss Kitty wasn't willing to stand idly by and watch the pups suffer. She was prepared to step in. It wasn't challenging for her human owners to discern what was unfolding. Heartbroken over the loss of her kittens, Miss Kitty had heard the cries of the lonely puppies and made the decision to adopt them into her litter as her own. Desiring a family, she found one that needed her. Stepping up for the puppies, Miss Kitty filled the void inside her and finally became the mother she longed to be. There was just one small problem, she was a cat, and her milk wasn't suitable for the tiny, hungry dogs. The grants deduced that Miss Kitty needed to feel like a mother again. While acknowledging that Smoochie was embracing her role as a mom with enthusiasm, they believed it wouldn't be fair for her puppies to be taken away. They hypothesized that if Miss Kitty had the chance to mother some newborn kittens of her own species, she might be willing to part with the puppies. This would reunite the little fellows with their mother. Fortuitously, a neighbor in the same community had recently welcomed a litter of kittens. Generously, he allowed the Grants to adopt two kittens, which they brought to Miss Kitty. The hope was that she would willingly part with the dogs once she had her own kittens to nurture. However, they were in for a surprise. Miss Kitty joyfully embraced the kittens, but instead of abandoning the puppies, she gathered all the babies into the same litter. Seeking advice, the Grants consulted with Dr. Andrew Holland, a local veterinarian. Dr. Holland suggested that, Although there was evident love in this mixed family, it would be more beneficial for the puppies to receive milk from their natural mother, containing species-specific nutrients. Acknowledging the difficulty of separating Miss Kitty from the puppies, the Grants decided on a unique arrangement. They committed to bringing the little dogs to Smoochie every day for feeding and then returning them to the cat's den. Dr. Holland pointed out that while the adoption of animals by different families is common, the news of animals being adopted by mothers of an entirely different species remains relatively rare. This seemingly wild scenario happens more often than one might think, and fortunately, many of these stories lead to happy endings. After nursing them, Smoochie developed a closer relationship with her puppies. However, the strongest bond remained between the little fellows and their adoptive mother, Miss Kitty, who continued to raise them with love and care. Did you know that animals can adopt animals from different species if they feel inclined to do so? Have you ever witnessed a cat or a dog displaying a particularly motherly attitude towards babies from a different species? Share your experiences in the comments below. Thank you for watching, and until next time, stay safe. Let's continue. There were ripples on the muddy river, and there were some figure flopping in the muddy water, like a woman and a horse, but what caused the woman to drag a horse in the river, and what happened? Apart from dogs, horses are the most understanding animals in this world. Since horses were tamed by humans, they have made great contributions to people. They can understand people's true emotions, so usually horses can become the closest friends of humans, and they can also help you at critical moments. According to news reports, in Australia, a woman named Nicole has been with horses all her life and currently has 10 horses in her care. Walking with them on the beach is a daily activity for Nicole, but it was her first experience of this type. Since this time, this woman has learned that some terrain is dangerous. And she cares about the horses too. The woman's horse was stuck in the swamp, unable to move an inch. At this time, apart from calling for help, the woman waited with the horse under the scorching sun for several hours and never left. It can be seen how deep the relationship between them is. It happened to a woman named Nicole who is very good at riding. One afternoon, Nicole took her daughter and horse for a walk along the coast, but an accident happened, and Nicole's horse suddenly got stuck in the mud. It can't move at all. At first, Nicole went down the river to save her beloved horse regardless of her own danger but found that no matter how hard she tried, 
her beloved horse's hooves couldn't move. Nicole managed to make the horse stand up, but the loyal horse can't find a way out of that slimy trap. Its sad eyes broke Nicole's heart. The horse struggled to move, trying to escape the situation. But each time it did it, things got more complicated. The horse sank in front of Nicole's surprised eyes, and she refused it to leave her side. At this moment, Nicole felt like crying. She didn't give up on the horse she grew up with, but even with all her strength, she couldn't save herself and her beloved horse. At this time, Nicole had an idea. She planned to contact the rescuers directly. She got in touch with rescuers. Rescuers are on their way, they need to wait. Then, Nicole hugged the horse beside her and buried her head on the horse's body. At this moment, she cried with joy, and they were finally saved. It's impossible for her to help a creature over 450 kilograms manage to stand up, but at least she can try to comfort it. Nicole spent three hours on her beloved horse, trying to comfort it and Nicole's daughter has gone to seek help. When her mood calmed down a bit, Nicole tried her best to prolong the waiting time. She told herself and the beloved horse beside her not to struggle, otherwise they would sink deeper and deeper. Afraid that the sand will get deeper and deeper, and more and more body parts will be sunken, Nicole dare not speak loudly. And this can also save their energy. Maybe the horse understands the owner's words, it doesn't make any movements, all it can do is listen, and Nicole will stroke its hair from time to time. However, its hair has long been knotted into clumps, and its body is covered with black sand, which has lost its former look. Nicole does not dislike it. She watched the sand bury faster and faster, and was a little worried about the condition of the horse. After all, only the head and part of the body of the horse were exposed in the air. Nicole couldn't help but looked around. She was anxiously waiting for the rescuers' arrival. After up to three hours, Nicole and her beloved horse finally waited for rescue, and she couldn't help crying. When her daughter arrived anxiously and lead a group of rescuers from the area behind her, experts sprang into action. First they figured out a way to keep the horse asleep. Let it stop moving. Make the job less complicated. After the rescue team came to the scene, they also found that the environment was very harsh, and many rescue tools could not be implemented. In the end, everyone could only use shovels to dig the soil around the horse, hoping to dig a big hole for the horse to come out. But an hour later, the rescue operation was ineffective. At this time, a kind-hearted man who was walking passed by here. After learning about the cause and effect, he immediately went back and drove a tractor over. The kind-hearted man wrapped the horse's body with a rope, and after driving a certain distance, the horse was successfully rescued. Because the horse has been trapped in the mud for too long, it can't stand, so it can only lie on the ground to rest. And Nicole's legs could no longer stand up because of being soaked in the mud for too long, so she could only crawl towards the horse. When they hugged each other affectionately, people couldn't help but get slightly moist eyes. Compared with the social relationship and emotional changes between people, the relationship between a pet and its owner is much simpler, whether it is poor or rich, healthy or sick, it is willing to accompany it and never leave it. Therefore, pets are not only tools for decompression in our lives, but also spiritual comfort for family partners and emotional sustenance. However, such an intimate relationship will make the laws of life such as birth, old age, illness, and death more reluctant. How to deal with the loss and gain of emotions may be a proposition that current pets owners should learn more about. To love and be loved is a subject that people need to learn throughout their lives. How to deal with the relationship between people and pets is also an indirect projection of the epitome of how to deal with the relationship between people and others, people and society, and people and themselves. This is a true story of love and warmth, Revealing a deeper truth, love can make us understand the value of life more deeply. Nowadays, many people think that having a pet to accompany them is enough when they are old, because their children are away from home and working hard outside, and loneliness has become an unavoidable topic for the elderly. This topic has also sparked heated discussions among netizens. 
Perhaps pets cannot completely replace children to accompany the elderly, but pets seem to have become the sustenance of the elderly. In many cases, people and pets need each other and derive love from each other. Compared with getting along with people, the way of getting along between people and animals will always touch the softest part of people's hearts. When people and animals have experienced a series of ups and downs, most people can always realize its importance, and thus realize the true meaning of life that every life is worthy of our respect, and every trust will make the world a better place. Pets lead us into a more loving and gentle world, and we will also experience the value and beauty of life in the interaction with pets. People always focus on the most real warmth and touch in life, thinking and examining the relationship between people and pets, conveying warm positive energy in humanistic care. Whether it is encountering, accompanying, growing up with pets, or parting, death, or breaking up, the main theme is actually inseparable from one core love. Some people's behavior is incomprehensible at first glance, but when you understand the experience and life behind him, you can actually find the corresponding reason. Our relationship with pets is actually a reflection of our true emotions and values. It seems that people and small animals cannot do without each other, but in fact, each of us cannot do without love. Pets can also teach us the deep understanding of always loving and bravely loving, and let people realize that pets are not appendages of human life, but equal lives like us. You may meet many loved ones, relatives, friends, lovers, etc., but your pet will only love you in their life. Even if we can't be with them for a lifetime. We want to make the days with pets full of good memories. I don't know if you have the same feeling. Let's continue. Nature is like a mysterious and extreme artist to human beings. It sometimes gives us beautiful surprises, and sometimes it can destroy everything easily. Survival of the fittest and elimination of the unfit has always been the law of nature. Animals and plants at the top of the food chain have evolved their unique characteristics in order to adapt to the nature and ensure their survival. If nature is a painting, animals are definitely the crowning touch. It's biological diversity that creates infinite charm of nature. The endless life of nature requires the continuation of new life. When a horse was giving birth, the whole delivery process took a long time. The farmers screamed when they saw what it's born. What happened? It is a great thing for humans and animals to create new life. The word animal comes from the Latin animalis. If we define animalis as an emotional mass or a spiritual will, many people would think that only humans have souls. In fact, animals also have souls. Maternal love is an expression from the depths of the soul, and it is a hope to continue another life that is more important than oneself. It exists in every heart. Maternal love is not unique to humans. It is common to all animals. A mare living on a farm interprets the meaning of giving birth to a new life. Old Pine Forest Farm is an old farm that has existed for decades. It is loved by local villagers because of its unique operating philosophy and inclusive care of animals. There are about 200 horses raised on the farm. If a villager comes to the farm to play, he can interact with horses. Horses are very docile and try their best to cooperate with tourists. It is not easy to keep so many horses. There are newborn horses every day, so the number of horses on the farm is constantly increasing. There is a special mare on the farm and her name is Grace. Grace has only given birth to a foal so far. Grace is very strong and intelligent. Therefore, it's easy for her to get pregnant. One night, the worker who took care of horses fell asleep. Pregnant Grace made a big fuss. The worker knew that Grace was going to have a foal, immediately woke up other workers and prepared for any accidents. Everyone gathered around the stable. The most responsible person on the farm is an employee named Jacob. He is the stable manager of Old Pine Forest Farm. He has been working hard there for more than 20 years and taking care of horses in every possible way. Jacob is fond of these horses, but he has a special affection for Grace so he takes extra care of her. Before Grace was sent to the farm, she had lived with an irresponsible owner. 
This owner didn't take good good care of Grace because he only cared about how much profit Grace could make. Finally he sold Grace to Old Pine Forest Farm. When Grace was pregnant for the first time, Jacob and other workers took extra care of Grace. Grace's first delivery was not smooth and she almost lost her life. It took Grace four hours to give birth. Jacob knew Grace was in great pain, but as a mother, she could not give up. They discovered that Grace suffered from a disease and it made the foal difficult to deliver in Grace's womb. Therefore, artificial methods must be used. This assisted delivery lasted for a long time. Everyone was worried for fear of accidents. Finally, with the help of Jacob and other workers, Grace successfully gave birth to her first foal. The foal was healthy, but Grace was exhausted. Jacob thought it would be difficult for Grace to survive if she becomes pregnant again. When everyone thought that Grace would not be pregnant again, Grace shocked them. By the following spring, Grace was back to health. When Jacob inspected the farm as usual, he noticed that Grace's abdomen had a slight bulge. According to his rich experience, Grace is very likely to be pregnant. Jacob couldn't believe it. He called the veterinarian to give Grace an ultrasound, the vet found a foal in Grace's womb. Grace was healthy. If she is cared for well, she will give birth to a foal smoothly. After hearing this, Jacob was very happy. He created a personal recipe for Grace. While ensuring Grace's health, he had to take good care of the foal in her womb. None of them knew that Grace would bring them a surprise. Grace finally gave birth after 300 days of pregnancy. Jacob and other workers surrounded Grace's stable. After preparing everything, they waited happily for the arrival of this little pony. It's almost noon. Grace was about to give birth. The pain of labor left Grace screaming in the stable. Grace was exhausted and lay on the straw laid by workers. She pumped her abdomen again and again, trying hard to give birth to the foal. Jacob stood by and looked at Grace sadly. He could not do anything to help her. He could only clenched his palms and cheered for Grace. Grace's belly is larger than that of other pregnant Mares. Is this foal bigger? Grace took longer to give birth. Jacob didn't care about these things. He just hoped that Grace and the foal would be safe. Finally, a foal emerged from its shed afterbirth. Jacob happily ran to Grace and took care of her. The foal looked very healthy and beautiful. Then something unexpected happened. Grace watched the foal anxiously as Jacob prepared to look after the foal. She did not want to lie down and rest. Jacob looked at Grace's remaining afterbirth. Two legs stretched out. Another foal was struggling to get out of Grace's belly. Jacob is stunned. Grace actually gave birth to twins. The people present burst into cheers after seeing this. Even the veterinarian was very surprised. After more than 10 minutes, two ponies slowly stood up. She turned out to be pregnant with twins. Twins are very rare for horses. Usually one of the twins dies before giving birth. The probability of a horse successfully giving birth to twins is about 1 in 10,000. For Grace, it is a miracle. Human beings have maternal love, and so do animals. The maternal love of animals may be more profound than that of humans. The power of maternal love lasts life. Maternal love is the greatest emotional force in this world. It can do wonders. Nature is full of wonderful stories. If we can expand our knowledge, we will know that humans are not the only creatures on this planet who feel joy when the sun goes down.